This is Steven Nogiri, and this is another video in the Tara Genji Jingungen series. In this video, we are going to briefly go over the Tara Genji Jingungen lineage as it flows through or connects with, overlaps with, the Kusunoki tradition. So this, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to start with Kusunoki Masashige and his association with the Genji traditions. And though, and that association begins with his study of Genji traditions from teachers from the house of Oe. So Oe is a Genji branch who is associated with and historically understood to be teachers of and maintainers of Genji traditions since the 900s. They are authors of several Genji text and as I said they are just known to be holders of these traditions and teachers of these traditions and Kusunoki Masashige studied with teachers from the house of Oe so this is where this particular line begins so on the screen there is a chart and again this chart is very simplified but you'll see in the white we have the main line from Kusunoki Masashige down through Masanori, Masanori through Masahide, Masahide to Masatora, Masatora to the main line in Mito during the Mito domain during the 1600s and 1700s. But now this line obviously is doesn't list everybody. Uh, Kusunoki Masanori is Masashige's son. But there are people that come between Masanori and Masahide, and there are people that come between Masahide and Masatora, etc., etc. So that white line, the white on your screen, is a, a very brief, sort of reduced. Lots of generations are skipped, but it's giving you an idea of okay. So you have this. This is the main line. Then in the red, you have sort of a, an auxiliary line. Um, Kusunoki Masashige's main line went to his sons. Actually, as many of you know, he the older son was the one who was supposed to really have it. It was given to the older son and the younger son. Um, but uh, Masanori is the one who actually survives, you know, to grow old. So uh, even though there was a son in between Masashige and Masanori, Masanori is considered to be... Uh, the sort of one who took this traditions, you know, well past his father. But at the same time, the Onchi family and the Wada family, now the Wada and the Kusunoki are actually um, relatives of each other. So the Wada and the Kusunoki is kind of like the same family. And then the Onchi is a family that is related to them. And the Onchi and the Wada are basically the chief retainers of Kusunoki. So, with the the main line goes through the Kusunoki descendancy, but there is also a branch or an auxiliary line that goes through the Onchi and the Wada. And then that line, as you'll see where the arrows go, that line continues and also bleeds back in around the time of Masahide. And that line, so that line sort of, again, bleeds into the, uh, back in around the time of Masahide, but it also goes off in the direction of a family called Mochizuki. Well, it goes off into many, there, not many, but there's a handful of other, they, that the Onchi Wada auxiliary line goes off into a handful of other families, one of them being the Mochizuki. Now, the reason the Mochizuki is important is because they are also one of the families, the chief families, that is uh, propagating and writing text about the Shotoku Jingunden in the mid fifth in the uh, in, in between 1550 and 1575. So, the it's they since they are one of the key families of the Shotoku Jingunden. We also see that they have a connection with this, with the Onshi Wada auxiliary line. Also, around the time of Masahide, you'll see in the yellow, there is kind of a branching off 
of the Issei Iga Kusunoki. So the Kusunoki of the Issei Iga region are not the main line, they are a branch, and they sort of split off around this time. And then as you see in another yellow, from Masatora, you do have the main line that continues in Mito, but then you also from this, from Masatora and his son, you get the branch that produces Kusunoki Fuden. And the reason Kusunoki Fuden is important is because he is the Kusunoki who starts the very famous Kusunoki Ryu Gungaku uh, in the 1600s. So as you can see on this page, Kusunoki Fuden to Yui Shosetsu. So Kusunoki Fuden starts the very famous Kusunoki Ryu Gungaku, this actual academy of Kusunoki tradition with many students and many manuals uh, and not just manuals but there's actual like ac there's actual like workbooks um, I've seen them they're very interesting so Fudin passes away and there's some controversy about him passing away it's one of those like ancient sort of uh, mysteries from the 1600s he passes away and Yui Shosetsu takes the school over from him. So there's a little controversy there because uh, some, uh, some of the students believe that Yui Shosetsu actually killed Fudin to get control of the school. And some people believe Yui Shosetsu was a very devoted student of Fudin. So it's one of those ancient controversies. Uh, on one hand, Yui Shosetsu loved Fudin as a father figure. Uh, I mean, Yui Shosetsu is set up to marry Fudin's daughter. Yui uh, Fudin is like a father figure for him. He's a devoted student, you know. But there is sort of this conspiracy theory or this sort of legend that he may have actually assassinated Fudin or had Fudin assassinated so that he could take control of the school early or guarantee that he could have it. There's So anyway, there's no proof either way, or I would say the evidence shows that he was very close to Fudin, his top disciple, and the story about him being uh, devious is essentially sort of just legend. There's no real proof of it. It's just some people thought maybe he did him in. But I'm getting off topic here. But that is that line. So that is the Kusunoki. That's called Kusunoki Ryu Gungaku. It's also called Nanki Ryu. So it's uh, it's very popular for, uh, in the in the um, prior to 1650. It's very popular. But uh, the, but it all collapses though. Yui Shosetsu leads a leads the Kian Revolt, a Ronin rebellion, in the early 1650s, and it fails and and he dies so that sort of puts an end to that school now in the red what you can see is coming off the Oda retainers group now this is this is a specific group and Ma so Kusunoki and Masatora belonged to a group of samurai who lived and worked in the Osaka area and was part they engaged in the, the wars, the struggle between the Hatakeyama and the Miyoshi. Now this group involved the, Mats the house of Matsunaga, the house of Yasumi, the house of Nojiri, the house of Yusa, and the Kusunoki. And this group, particip like I said, participated in the Hatakeyama versus Miyoshi wars, but they also sided with Nobunaga and helped Nobunaga to take the Kyoto and the Osaka area. So now that we've looked at this very brief, very brief overview of the line, we're going to look at some interesting points on the lineage charts that uh, are interesting points on the lineage charts that are going to show some other sources of Kusunoki tradition. Now on your screen here, this is going to require that you have a pretty decent knowledge of the of, of Kusunoki Masashige's history. So um, if you don't, and this is confusing, then we'll just, well, I'll say it and we'll move through it. But 
one potential source for Tara Genji and or Kusunoki tradition potentially actually comes through Ashikaga Takuiji, which might confuse some people. But the Kusunoki documents record that Kusunoki and Takuiji are friendly comrades. There are many stories in the Kusunoki documents about these two working together and like sitting around campfires and telling war and swapping stories and stuff like that. So even the oldest existing version of the Taiheiki from the early 1400s, it's not a complete copy of the Taiheiki. It's partial. It's a partial Taiheiki, but it is from the four, early 1400s, 1420s, I believe. Um, it's the oldest known existent copy. And in that copy, it specifically says that uh, Kusunoki wanted Ashikaga to replace Nita Yoshisada. So Kusunoki actually goes to the imperial court and suggests that Nita Yoshisada be removed from command and Ashikaga Takuiji placed in command. And the, and the Kusunoki documents actually agree with this version of the Taiheiki. There's also a text called the Baishuron, also agrees with this. And the Jingunden itself says that Kusunoki and Ashikaga both studied Tara Genji traditions. Also, the all the records, pretty much every record that talks about Masashige's death across the board, record that Takuiji wept. He was very upset when he learned, he was very sad when he learned that Kusunoki had died. And he was very serious about the death of a great warrior, giving a small speech about how great Kusunoki had been. And he was very quick to return Kusunoki's head to his family. Another interesting point is that the imperial prince, Morinaga, was a militant prince. In other words, he was a prince who was very much a warrior. And he and Kusunoki are said to essentially have swapped tactics and taught each other things while they were both holding out during the siege of Chihaya Castle. If you remember your history, Prince Morinaga fled to, in, to Chihaya because he meets up with Kusunoki and they both are there at Chihaya Castle. Eventually, Prince Mor uh, the, eventually the Imperial Prince is executed by the Ashikaga forces when he's actually in prison and he's not supposed to be executed but he gets executed and that's a different that's for that's a totally different sort of video but um but from Chihaya Castle onward until his execution there is there's a this idea that he and Kusunoki sort of teach each other techniques and then uh, number four is that uh, there is a, a samurai general named Momonoi Naotsune and the Kusunoki documents record Kusunoki Masashige having trained Momonoi Naotsune in in the in his techniques in the in the teachings that Kusunoki studied and utilized. Okay, so then from that last one, the Momonoi Naotsune. So other lines and considerations. So Momonoi Naotsune lines. So the tradition, as I said, the tradition documents that Masashige taught Momonoi Naotsune the tradition, and then Momonoi became the source of another line of transmission. But that line of transmission is not well laid out. It's not well documented. And then earlier in the video, we mentioned the Mochizuki line. So this is a line of the Shotoku Jingunden, but it contains the a Kusunoki transmission as well. And that's the Onchi and the Wada transmission. And, this, and then this line is found among retainers of Takeda Shingen. So whenever you think about Takeda Shingen and his retainers having Kusunoki traditions, it comes, it's the Onchi and the Wada and specifically also this Mochizuki line. And lastly, you have something called Taiheiki Ryu. This line is believed to have developed in the late 1400s. It's not part of the Kusunoki main line and it's not a branch of the main line either. What it is, is it's a system that developed independently among some of the followers of the tradition in the late 1400s. Now the Taihikiru is based on two key components. One is from a member of the Wada family and one is from a member of the Imagawa family. So the 
Taihei Kiryu was primarily the Kusunoki tradition through the Imagawa, but it also contains Wada teachings uh, as well. And then lastly, you have the post Yui Shosetsu Kusunokiru, meaning so after the fall of Yui Shosetsu, so this would be Kusunoki Fudin's line, after the fall of that line because of the failure of the Kian revolt, a group of practitioners from the Aizu area were trained in Shotoku Jindunden, Yoshitsuneru, and Kusunokiru. They began giving lectures of their teachings as Kusunokiru in the later 1600s. And that is it for this video. As always, um, these videos are meant to be brief and they are meant to be to inspire you or to give you a starting off point. The material in this video is copywritten by me. So please do not steal this material. Please do not take it. Please do not copy it. Again, it, I hope it inspires you. I hope that it sets you off on your own investigations and explorations, but please be respectful.